not want to go off stage. Well, with, with that said, like with, with uh, heat strokes, uh, Sheik has an easier time dealing with needles to right. his approach because he's not going to kill me in the in the three throws that. Uh, so oh wait, this is a different. Wait, uh, I'm not paying attention. It's a whole new set. Let's see. Let me get this updated. So we got uh, uh, Bean. Bean and Lazy. Bean and Lazy. Just do lazy. Is that too late. Too late. Is it too long? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of too long. Right, I'll do lazy. And then uh, we got H1Com and J-Dog. Um, but uh, the other one as well. H1Com 2 and uh -oh. J-Dog. My bad. I got rid of the wrong one. <laughs> you met more work with myself. K-H1Com 2. I really hate him having to make me type this. It's... Yeah, close enough. Yeah. And yeah, the best. Uh, I, I think they already both played. I'm not sure. Oh, you think they play each other already? No, no, no. This is winter side. Oh, is it winter? Winter side's done. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm. I stand corrected. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure what's happening as we were doing that big uh, fix there. Uh, Still a fairly close game. Uh, little Mac and uh, Bean Tillager are actually a little bit ahead of, of Red Team here. Um, good job there from J Dog using the, the side beat into the trampoline to kind of get lazy out of shield there without getting punished. Yep, that's how you have so, this is Loser 70s, right? Or yeah. whatever you call it. Right? Okay. Uh, Ooh, nice down B Doug B. Good job with the bowling ball punish there from uh, from page one. Uh, just oh. able to get that. <laughs> Almost spawned and immediately got revenge there. But, well, yeah. I mean, the problem with uh, J Dog and uh, and uh, page one com is the fact that this matchup, Bean can do everything that page one com can. He can, he can steal all of Pac Man stuff the same way. Very true. Got to hold on to it. Uh, now, on the other hand, though, this gives uh, this is in kind of in favor of J Dog because he knows the villager matchup. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely knew that about that. Uh, nice pocket opportunity there from Bean. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do a double though. Doubles is such a hectic, uh, hectic sure, time, sure, so much sure. stuff going on, especially with this team. Uh, it's actually the first team Kellen and I lost to, and there's just so much stuff happening with the hydrants going down, uh, and especially now that there's potential for three hydrants. Which right. Is, that was probably our ugliest loss today. Was um, for Nima and I was against Lazy and Bean. They got, they got us two. Uh, I think that's the only team that's done that. Did that. Uh, Good stuff to them. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, nice. And now the shield slowed the hit down long enough for it to connect with Pac Man there. Yeah, that was very, very good there. Uh, from from Lazy. Kind of Ooh, like another ball! Oh my goodness. I can't handle all this Four bowling ball. Oh, and so that is a, a two versus one for the rest of this match. Uh, Venus fighting against both Lazy, or excuse me, uh, Cage One Time and J Dog. This is, this is going to be very hard for uh, Bean to win. I think that he can, he can do it, but. It's definitely going to be tough. Absolutely. Um, so, it's just a matter here of presenting Mal, but this isn't going to be an exciting two for one style. No, no. Uh, it's going to be a lot of, of kind of camping. Bean's got a rack up 2%, so he can, he can do some damage. The problem is he's taking Ooh. out 4% that he's giving. Uh, good job with the guy. And, shit there, I, think I mean, his best shot's going to be to try to gimp Pac Man because giving villagers is extremely hard. Yeah, uh, balloons can kind of cover up. Uh, yeah. Now, now, what, now, here's a question, though. You can still drop bowling yeah. ball and it'll go through the balloons, right? I, I think so. I assume so. Uh, it depends on if it's hit the period rates upon touching the ground. Okay. But I don't think it would. Uh, so I, I think that should work. Um, but I guess not 100%. Uh, but uh, both are. I believe he's having a very, very rough time. He's living the. Oh, just, just kidding. <laughs> Um, so that was uh, that was very convincing from uh, Red Team there. Uh, they essentially started their their last stocks a stock ahead or one two v one, and so it was just impossible, especially with with a villager, uh, the villager and pack man. Yeah. Well, I cannot get this thing to get rid of that zero. There we go. And so they're going to Battlefield. Um, that was immediately going to Battlefield. Now, I feel like this is not the best stage for Little Mac, but maybe I... I don't know. It's, it's not... Okay. I don't, they, might, they might agree. 
it's not the best stage for uh, Little Mac, but also in doubles, people aren't going to sit on the, the top platform. Right. Which is why it's such a bad stage for. Them. I don't know, like, we can't, we picked this get map every time we could against them, and just like any time he got KO punch on deck, we were on those platforms. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not not his strongest, um, but definitely, it's not as detrimental as it is in, in, uh, in singles there. Right. Because you have to worry about getting hit by by being at that point into a KO punch into any of Little Max's uh, tools on the ground, which is where he's so strong. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I know. Good job there with uh, the Lloyd Rocket actually uh, hitting Little Max up B as he popped above the stage. Um, it's kind of perfect timing on that. As, as now, Little Mac always has to pop above the stage. That's how that B works, right? I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Because if, if I have to play lazy at some point today, I might need to take advantage of that with my Force Smash. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if there's a sweet spot on it um, or if it's very cloud esque. That was a really good uh, up smash there, yeah. I think, is what that was from uh, Lazy Gordon there getting, getting the kill on, on JL. Um, just kind of. Uh, J-Dog and Casey are kind of juggling uh, both Bean and Lazy Gordon. We're seeing the, the Lloyd Rocket fight between the villagers right now. And then, uh... Ooh! Those, Got cut with an up till, I believe, and uh, Moses makes him pay, drops the bone right on his head. Yeah, that was, that was very, very good um, from J-Dog as well. He was able to camp uh, Lazy Gordon after he'd already used his double jump. So it was a little Mac uh, abuse there. <laughs> the Sarah McLaughlin playing in the background. Oh. <laughs> Uh, a good hatch it there from uh, from V. Doesn't quite get the kill on it, but it was it was very very uh, close to killing. killing. Surprised it didn't, but I assume the villager was, was close to zero percent, uh, so he had no range. Right. This is such an interesting match to watch because you have Lazy Gordon. Oh, catches him. Very good up smash there from Lazy. Uh, but you have uh, you have Lazy who's plays defensive little Mac. But against uh, a team like this, you can't really play defensive. They've right. got so many tools to keep them out, and uh, they're content just to sit on the opposite side of the stage and throw things at them, and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, and then you have Bean, who just adds to the, the amount of crap that's on <laughs> right. across the stage. Um, and Ooh. a beautiful down smash there from Lazy, getting that kill. That down smash is so down. good at catching people on, grabbing that two frame. Yeah, he, he did that. I, I want to say that uh, H1 Human actually dropped down and re-grabbed. Um, I don't even know. I mean, you don't even have to. Like, I see Lazy all the time catch people, even off a of fresh grab. Yeah, it, it definitely is. I, I see him do that a lot. I need to look and see how many frames that actually last. The, the Hydrant is is quite the, uh, the gimmick of this. Uh, 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 get, get wow! Both of them, so it's, oh, well, well, it's, uh, I thought I would spark their last dogs, but I was wrong on both accounts. Uh, we have Lazy, who's kind of at, at kill percents, um, but he has a ton of rage on, on Little Mac. He can kill Villager and Pac Man fairly quickly here. Uh, just with rogue smash attacks, he just can't get gammed. That's going to be the hard part here. Oh, he oh got, double bell. <laughs> oh, doesn't quite get the kill on him, but he's, he's definitely in a bad position. Good job there, avoiding the, the ball. Yeah, hugging the stage. Yeah. We saw Bean go down there to try and uh, protect him if he was good with that one. Get that, uh, that hit. Um, Battle of the Wood Rock. J Dog has key on deck. Yeah, he's gonna. I mean, he's gonna wait for. Oh, oh he catches lazy with it. Lazy there, the now we're in the same situation we were at the in the last game, and yeah. they're putting on the damage much quicker this time. Yeah, that was that was a really good bell combo there, where they uh, did that with the bell and then went into uh, H1 comps up smash or up air. Ooh. Oh, did you get it? Oh, okay, now, there. This, this is doable. This is doable. Absolutely. Pocket, pocket yeah. some, uh, pocket some fruit. Pocket some Taco Bell. Ooh, I'm gonna grab the Taco Bell. Ooh, that was that was really good, that was a really good grab there. Oh, he gets the pocket there, and so he, he now has now, oh, again. No. J Dog has a lot of experience in this matchup, but maybe there's a playstyle difference. Oh, oh and gets the, before gets I can the finish that sentence. Yeah, that was very good play there by by J Dog. Uh, gets, gets that kill really quickly, and so that is that is a quick two zero over being a lazy. Boy. 